Talk to you later on, man. KM4, KM4, KJ4YZI. Wow, that was hard. And the KM4 MCK W2JKD confused, obviously. Hello, guys. KJ4YZI, as Jim said it. All right, so what am I doing in this truck this evening? Well, I have the 5100 linked up to my Samsung tablet on Bluetooth. And what I'm going to do is we're going to try out the Bluetooth functionality, which I've done before, but I never showed you. The Bluetooth board is in my 5100 under the seat. I have the tablet linked up. So with the tablet, you can see, you know, you're to and from on D-Star. Uh, you can see, you know, the, the call signs and the signal and stuff. But what I really want to do, what I want to check out is the text messaging and picture messaging. So we'll go here to texting. Okay, so what happens is I'm going to go through the repeater, and it's going to send this on digital. You can see me and John have already done this. Now watch. Let me just go like this. Hi, John. I need to take that message off. They, it just transmitted that. Now, when he sees that, because that went over the repeater, so anybody with the app open is going to see this message, um, unless you, I guess, direct it. But right now, I'm just sending a message, CQ, CQ, to the repeater, uh, to anybody listening. And anybody that's got the app will see it. And all the other people see is just the the repeater trunking. That's all they see. So it's a good idea to ID first and say, this is kj 4 yz I'm going to be using the app for text messaging or testing or whatever you want to do. So they know what's going on. And there it is. It's a pretty neat thing. We're going to try to send a picture now and see what happens uh, if he's got a picture on there, he'll send it. Now keep in mind, it's going to tie up the repeater as uh, you're doing that. But from my understanding, you can talk while it's being transmitted. All right, let's try a picture, John. I'm in uh, receive on the share picture, so go ahead and transmit. KJ4YZI. Okay, KJ4YZI, this is Jim. Uh, starting transmission. All right. Now you will see on the radio... It's transmitting. Now look, look on here. It's that fast. And at this time, he could talk over it. But everybody else won't be able to use the repeater as you're sending a picture. All right, John, I got the picture. That's low resolution. Can you send one in high? Give me a second. Stand by. See what happens. So if I had pictures, I don't even know what I have on this tablet. I could send one with the send up here, but uh, we'll see how how his images come through. That was a low resolution there, so it looks like his 5100 there with something else. Can't really tell. It's a low resolution. I mean, if you had somebody you know out in the field taking a picture, you can kind of understand it, but or see what it is. But a higher resolution would be better. All right, so this one. I don't know if you can hear me talking over it. It's going to take a while. The first line is just done now. Yep. I can hear him talking over it. But, uh, yeah, so see, now this is a high resolution, 640 by 480. Wow, that's about a minute already, and it's only got about four or five lines done. <laughs> so if you're sending a high res, uh, just make sure you alert people and let them know hey you know i wouldn't send a picture over the repeater in the middle of a hurricane i wouldn't send a picture over the repeater during a net or when the repeater is most used now this is saturday night we asked a few times if there's anybody on there that wants to use it nobody said anything not a lot of activity or traffic on the radio so i don't think for this test anybody will mind but keep in mind there are areas where these repeaters are busy. Now, you can do this over simplex. You don't have to have a repeater. So, um, you know, if, you can, if you're in simplex range, more power to you. We are not in simplex range. We already tried that. So, the repeater is our option. Now, if you have a private repeater and it's your repeater and you want to do whatever you want, that's fine. 
So far, the image looks like HD, but it's taken a long time to draw it square by square. All right, so <laughs> the repeater timed out. That's one thing that the repeater is set for a timeout timer. Therefore, the repeater saw three minutes of solid keying and said, yep, yeah, we might need to shut off. So uh, word of advice, if you're going to send a high res, uh, that's uh, very, I guess, dealt mostly for simplex. But uh, at least we got to see that the quality of this thing is actually really good on high resolution. All right, we're on a different repeater now. We're going to try this again. We timed out the other repeater, uh, so we're not going to send a high uh, quality image, but let me see. KM4MCK, I'm going to send a mess, uh, picture of KJ4YZI. Hey, stand by. Let me just make sure it's still connected. So, let's see. I'm going to send. How do I get to hold this? Gallery. Open the gallery. And I will send me and... Okay, go ahead. KM4 MCK. Ready to receive. Me and a friend at the cigar store. And I'm just going to go like this. That was us having a cigar. <laughs> Alright, so... I hit done. And I'm going to go 50% quality. Um, we'll do a small one here. Just to see. So that's what it's going to look like. And here we go. Alright, so now you see it's drawing it block by block. You see it's transmitting on the radio here. And that's it. Now let's see if you got it. Affirmative, I did receive it. Yes, I did. All right, now uh, you want to send one back. I did 50% quality at uh, the smallest resolution. It only took about 10 seconds. There it goes. So he said that was 50% quality at the 160 by 120 resolution. This is great stuff also uh, for Skywarn for, you know, fun, of course. It doesn't have to be zombie apocalypse, but this would be great for MCOM, emergency communications, Skywarn. Imagine that. You're out in the field, a bunch of guys on D-Star. You're chasing a tornado or you're in the middle of a hurricane, whatever. You send a picture, you know, on Simplex or you know, through a repeater, and everybody gets the picture, and you can see right there in real time. I got the picture, John. So, that's your picture. Now, check this out. If I go up here to... Yep, it's green, but you should have it. Now, if I go I up here to it. map... Check this out. So, here's the map. Now, in the beginning, I was talking to WTJKD, so you can see there. That's where he was when he was talking. With the map here, if you got this connected, everybody that comes in and talks, it'll pop them up on the map. And, uh... You know, you can see where they're at, you know, the receive history, where the repeater's at. And uh, that's pretty pretty neat stuff there to be able to uh, see that visually on a map. Of course, the... Can you hit the 1-3 machine from, uh, from your place? Yeah, I can. I want to pull up that link real quick and see if it works. I uh, bump my radio and stuff. repeater list so you can set the repeater list here of the radio right on the app uh, you know it's just as easy to do it from the front of the radio but if you got the app here on and that's how you're controlling it you do it right from here if I tap on the call sign uh, W2JKD it'll give me you know I could set right here to set the station to and call sign right to him um, Go to APRS.FI, Google Maps, so I can click this, APRS.FI, and it'll pull up his position 
which gated from his radio on D-Star through the gateway and to APRS.FI. If I have Wi-Fi out here in the truck, you'll see it pop up. There he is. You want a one three? Yeah. There was Jim right there. Pretty cool stuff, right? Just another thing you can do with D-Star instead of just talking to somebody on a reflector. Utilize your app on your phone, on your tablet, wherever. Send, receive pictures, text messaging over a repeater or on Simplex or in a group or Skywarn or wherever. When you don't have cell phone service and you want to have a group text, this is the way to do it right here. Mapping functions, you want to see where the people are on the map where the repeaters are located, the signals you're hearing on RF, where they're coming from, right here on the app. Pretty cool stuff. So check it out. The app is called the RSMS1A, I think it is. Yep, that's what it is. And uh, with your favorite D-Star radio that's compatible, you can do the same thing. 7-3, thanks for watching. KJ4, YZI.